I've ordered some uh, cheap Chinese Webasto compatible uh, fuel pumps uh, for using with the V series and the other Webastos, but they came with these fuel dampers. And I was curious to see whether if I add these to the cheap Chinese diesel heaters, does it either or does it and improve uh, burning performance, which we can test with the uh, carbon monoxide? And does it make the heater run any quieter? So these are them. You put fuel in here and it comes out here. And for you lovely people, I have gone a step further and got the grinder out. And I have cut one open for you so you can see what's inside it. To be honest, I was actually expecting it just to be a block of nothing because these are like three pounds each uh, from Aliexpress. So if you open it up, there is the small hole at the bottom, which fuel comes into, and there's the other one you can see. That's where it exits. And then the other side, there's this soft and squishy, well, it's a rubber, a rubber piece. I was gonna say a grommet, but it's not a grommet. So it's a piece of rubber, it's nice and soft. It's very squashy and just a cavity there. And it sits there and I imagine the fuel comes in and uh, pulses onto that and gets dampened, surprisingly, by the name fuel damper. Like when it's pulsing. Eh, we will see if it makes any difference whatsoever on the new all-in-one heatery thing that I have purchased. Let me pull you around a, a pet. It is a uh, five, eight kilowatt, whatever you want to call it, all-in-one fuel tank built in here on the bottom. The cover's down there at the moment because I've taken it off because we're going to be inside at the fuel pump, which is over here, you can't see it. Fuel pump's up here. So to test, I'm going to run it first the way it is, as is. I'm going to get my phone. I'm going to get the Bosch uh, analyzer app. This is the Bosch uh, audio analyzer app. And it's got raw data and sound meter. So you can see the sound meter. You can see the instantaneous decibels, minimum, maximum, and I've no idea what that one is, but we will put this down next to here and see if it gets any quieter. There's also, where is it, raw data. Raw data, we can actually see the the frequency response. Do you like that? And we'll see if the frequency, if, if, you know, if anything changes, if it's any different before and after. So let's, uh, Fire up, get up and running, and then we'll start looking at data. So I've got the heater set to 0.9 hertz, because this is as, well, pulsy. Well, not, not pulsy, but this the longest pulse duration or time between pulses will be at its lowest setting. Now, when I'm not talking, you can see it's about 60 decibels. 58, 59, uh, I need to worry about the rest of them. So about 59 decibels. We can see over here on the CO meter, it's fluttering between five and seven and zero. It's about half a meter away from the heater. So it's just out, out with range. Here's also smoking quite a lot at the moment, which is odd because it's on its lowest fuel and lowest fan setting. It shouldn't be smoking, but yeah, it is smoking. So we'll see if that improves. I don't know if the GoPro is picking up the smoke, but we'll see if that improves. This is a good test. This is all part of the, we'll see if that improves with the damper. Right, I'm going to go to the raw data. Oh, that's not very exciting, is it? So that hasn't really um, shown us much. Okay, right, so we've done that bit. That is without, without the fuel damper. Now I will switch in the fuel damper and we'll do it all again. Well, I have to say, fuel damper installed. It's still hovering around the 60 decibels.
Carbon monoxide is much homogeneous. Uh, it doesn't appear to be smoking as much as it uh, did before. Obviously, yeah, this isn't the first time I've run this here. I've run this here to make sure it actually works. Uh, you know, I've filled it with diesel, obviously, and uh, ran it a few times, so it's not its first outing. But, obviously, I can't see the GoPro footage just now or listen to it, so we will switch backwards and forwards between the, you know, damper, no damper, and see if there's actually any audible difference in any of that stuff. I should have said, oh god, there's a bunch of things. I should have said the damper won't change the sound of the pump any, because the tick of the pump is still the actual physical pump, you know, whacking itself interiorly. Whacking itself? Whacking itself? Can I say whacking itself? Beating itself? No. The module inside the pump that does the pumping action, moving backwards and forwards. Demonetized. Uh, but, so that, this doesn't affect that operation. These, the Webastos all have them, and I don't know why, because it doesn't seem to make much difference in that. Maybe it burns better. Perhaps uh, when we're doing the more Webasto water heater stuff, we'll see, because I know they're quite fussy on fuel, and especially the Webasto V, it's uh, fussy. It likes a constant stream of fuel going to it. Well, did the fuel damper make a difference? Was there an ever so slightly, perhaps almost imperceivable change in the sound? Yeah, yeah, a little bit, but not, not a lot. Would I rush out and buy one to fit? Maybe not rush out. Oh, by the way, these are, did I say they're three pounds on AliExpress? Three pounds, or oh, like three pound 26 or something. Probably, probably get them on eBay as well. Uh, I know the Barbastos all have them fitted. Will it cause any problems? Mm, I can't see it causing any problems, everything still works. It, there's, there's no negatives I can see to fitting one of these. If it has a... If it increases burn efficiency in any way, shape or form, that's another test, but... That's kind of a long run test, you'd have to run like a tank of fuel and a, another tank of fuel and see if there was any perceivable difference, but... Hey, I was, I was curious also to see what was inside, and it does actually have a damper, I... I did think it was just going to be a pretend one, because it's, I mean, it was three pounds. Uh, but no, it does actually have internals. So, yeah. No, I probably wouldn't rush out and fit these to your diesel here unless you really wanted to. But, yeah, well. Thanks for watching. It's me, the big Billy Conley.